What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sick Eric TV. And today we are going to be doing a spec comparison between the LG Velvet and the LG V60. These are two of LG's last legacy phones that they've released in 2020. And we're going to be doing a comparison in 2021. A lot of people still really enjoy these devices. You got the V60 being LG's last great flagship device and you got the lg velvet first of its kind last of its kind taking over the uh, g series but sadly there is no more so we're going to go over the uh, specs of both of these devices and let you guys determine which one you like the best so let's go ahead and jump down and get started so before we do go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon that we get notified on my future video so over here on the v60 these are pretty big phones the velvet is a little bit thinner and lighter uh, you get a 6.67 inch 3.06 in the width and 0.35 thickness so this is a big boy it is a big chunky device uh, it weighs at about 7.51 ounces Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and on the back. Of course, you got your aluminum frame and it is IP68 water and dust resistant. Also with the MIL STD A10G um, drop compliant as well. So very, very durable phones. Over here on the Velvet, you got 6.58, 2.92 and 0.31 thick. So it is a lot thinner and a lot lighter than the V60. IP68 as well. Uh, the Velvet comes in at about 6.35 ounces. Again, mil STD A10G compliant and very, very nice. They're both very nicely built devices. Very beautiful glass on glass. It doesn't specify uh, what kind of Gorilla Glass is over here on the Velvet. It just says glass, but I'm assuming it's uh, maybe Gorilla Glass 4 or something. Definitely not 5 or Victus. Going over to display, both of these displays are absolutely amazing. Even though they are only 60 Hertz, the colors on these are freaking beautiful. A lot of people prefer LG's PLEDs over Samsung's AMOLEDs and even OnePlus's AMOLEDs. So the displays on here are very, very nice. Over here on the LG V60, you get a PLED, HDR10 compliant, 6.8 inches, 83.6% screen to body ratio. 1080 by 2460 and the PPI is about 395 Gorilla Glass 5 like I said and it does have an always on display as well going on over to the Velvets you get a 6.8 inch PLED as well 88.6% screen to body ratio 1080 by 2460 and 395 pixels per inch so the displays on here are pretty much identical except the Velvet gives you a curved uh, screen while the V60 is going to be a flat one but pretty much identical same notch almost the same panel and pretty much exactly the same size as far as that goes so very very nice on the displays absolutely gorgeous panels uh, a lot of people prefer PLEDs over AMOLEDs and personally I really do like LG's displays they are very very good and accurate and just very punchy and the blacks are absolutely gorgeous on either one of these but they are only 60 hertz refresh rate no high refresh rate on both of them and you do get an always on on the velvet as well same as you do on the v60 over to platform now both of these were released with the android 10 and both of these also just got the uh, android 11 update so and with the possibility of android 12 coming this later this year and maybe even the beginning of next year these phones should be getting android 12 and if they do that will be the last update for these devices maybe a couple more security updates over the next year or so but after that that is what we got snapdragon uh 865 over here on the v60 adreno 650 gpu you get 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of expandable storage with UFS storage 2.1. Over here on the Velvet, again, Android 11, Snapdragon 765G, uh, you got 6 gigabytes of RAM 
and 128 gigabytes of expandable storage ufs 2.1 as well so you get more ram over here on the v60 and it is definitely a more snappier device than the velvet the v60 is a very snappy phone the lg velvet i find that it has some stutters from time to time nothing too serious so yeah performance on these are very nice no issues with anything they are both very snappy phones the lg v60 coming in a little bit more of a faster snappier device just because of that 865 processor while over here on the velvet it's still really nice and very uh, fast and snappy going on over to the camera side you got the v60 over here probably going to take the win in the camera department you get a 64 megapixel main sensor aperture of f1.8 and you do get pdaf and ois as well 13 megapixel ultra wide aperture 1.9 and you do get a 0.3 megapixel time of flight sensor with 3d um, time of flight sensor and it is an aperture of f1.4 and it is a depth sensor you also get your front facing camera which is a 10 megapixel front facing camera and the rear camera can record up to 8k 30 frames per second front facing camera can record up to 4k 30 frames per second which is really really nice i love having a 4k camera some phones nowadays don't even include that which is crazy over here on the lg velvet you get a 48 megapixel main sensor aperture of f 1.8 with PDA, pdaf as well you get an 8 megapixel ultra wide aperture of f 2.2 and a 5 megapixel depth sensor aperture of 2.4 and the front facing camera is a little bit higher megapixel it's a 16 megapixel camera aperture of f1.9 and you can record up to 4k 30 frames per second on this front facing camera 4k 30 at the rear as well so both of these can do 4k uh, video recording on these it's just you get the higher advantage over here on the velvet being able to do 8k and you get a little bit better sensors over here on the v60 as well over here on the velvet still great sensors uh, pictures come out pretty much almost the same uh, differences are very very minute on either one of these but you do get the higher advantage over here on the uh, v60 just because it has uh, manual video mode and you have a lot of different options both do have your asmr and your basic uh recording and you also get voice bouquet on both of these as well so you get excellent audio recording on both of these devices which is absolutely great and like i said the uh, camera quality on both of these are pretty much almost the same v60 is a bit sharper and a bit better and it does take the cake as far as video goes with able to record better video and you get better sensors on the cameras over here on the v60 it is made to record video and it's just very very nice the audio on both of these you won't even need an external microphone sometimes on either one of these just because the audio is so good when recording video uh, you get wi-fi 6 on both of them uh, bluetooth 5.1 on both of them so that is great and nice to see stereo speakers on both as well you do get your stereo speaker at the bottom same spot and you do get your earpiece doubling as your secondary speaker both of these devices yes they do have headphone jacks look at that uh, they both have the LG 3D sound engine as well, but the LG V60 definitely does take the cake with that Hi-Fi DAC that it provides on board for that headphone jack. The Velvet does not have the Hi-Fi DAC on here, the Quad DAC, just because they wanted to cut the price down. And uh, of course, the V60 being a flagship, it does have the uh, quad deck on board. So very nice and audio. Audio on either one of these is going to be excellent. But if you use a pair of headphones over here on the V60, you are definitely gonna get mind blowing audio over here on the V60. While over here on the Velvet, you still get really nice sound quality with the LG 3D sound engine. And it just makes everything sound absolutely amazing. We're gonna go ahead and play some audio clips for you guys that we get an idea of how each one of these sound and how the speakers are on each one of these.
going on over to the battery and the charging of either one of these devices. So you do get a 5,000 milliamp hour battery over here on the V60. While over here on the uh, Velvet, you get a 4,300 milliamp hour battery. Uh, you get a 25 watt charging on both of these. And uh, as far as uh, charging over here, you do get um, wireless charging on both of these as well. No reverse power sharing or anything like that. Quick charge 4.0 on both of these. So battery life on these are absolutely amazing. Uh, almost similar actually, even though there are different batteries, 5,000 versus 4,300, but still battery life on LG devices tend to be very, very good. And you're easily gonna get a day's worth and then some on either one of these. So you don't have any higher refresh rate uh, screens or displays or high resolution displays to drain that battery. They're both PLED, so they're gonna use uh, very little power. Even if you have them on uh, dark mode, it's going to help out as well on either one of these. So battery life on these are excellent. Charging speeds are very good as well. Uh, 25 watt charging, so very fast on the charging front. And uh, as far as wireless charging, they both support wireless charging. So that is always nice. As far as colors go, the V60 comes in classy blue and classy white, this being the classy white. Uh, the velvet comes in several different colors. You get Aurora white, Aurora green, gray, Illusion sunset, which is this color right here. Right now it's Illusion fingerprint set, so let's wipe it down. Fingerprint magnets on both of these Nomad, no -mat glasses on the back. Uh, and you also get red and you get pink. So very, very nice. Both of these devices can be found for very, very low prices, especially if you get them off of Swappa. Uh, I paid less than $300 for this V60 and just a little over $200 for this Velvet off of Swappa. And as you can see, they are in very good condition. The V60 being a little bit more scratched up, but the Velvet is absolutely pristine condition no scratches whatsoever over here on the velvet while well, on the v60 i do have some scratches on the display but not a big deal both very beautiful devices and last of lg's kind right here this is what they leave us with the v60 and the lg velvet and you can still pick these up and you probably still get another year or so of usage out of these devices so don't worry about updates more than likely both of these will be updated to Android 12. And after that, you'll probably get another year or two years of updates. But then after that, no more security updates, but they still will be usable phones. And personally, I don't mind. I'm going to be using the V60 as my main phone to record video. And the Velvet is just gonna be a phone to have. So with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick comparison of the LG V60 and the LG Velvet. Going over specs, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Subscribe, like, and share. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.